I'm Cave Jewel, and this is Comic Smack. Your weekly, daily, all the time, anytime comic show where I give you your fix of everything you need to know from the world of comic books and superheroes. And on today's show, we're taking a closer look at Superman, issue number 10. The Dark Knight and the Man of Steel are coming face to face, but there's something very different this time around. Let's hop on in together and find out what happened, shall we? Okay then, so as we join the comic, it's Christmas time in Hamilton County. Oh man, come on comic industry, Christmas already? We were just done Halloween, I've had it up to here with this holiday cluster. It's a pretty normal day, one like any other for young Jonathan, however, he does run into a rather familiar face, Maya, who we'll all know as the superhero Nobody, a supporting character from the old Damien Son of Batman book. It seems that Nobody has been sent in by her old friend Robin to keep some close tabs on the young Superboy. Jonathan's not an idiot, though though he eventually does realize he's being tracked and forces Nobody and Goliath, Damien's pet giant bat monster, out into the open. Once again, we get to closely see how tied the young Superboy's powers are to his emotions. He accidentally starts a forest fire when he gets surprised, and then when he gets a sneeze, he ends up activating his ice breath. Jeez, I wonder if the kid is going to one day start manifesting those weird Superman powers like telepathy and telekinesis, self-duplication. Heck, what about that solar flare that got the New 52 Superman and all that trouble, is that a power he could one day get? Jonathan gets knocked out and brought before Damien in the Batcave. It seems that Damien has been keeping a tab on all the correspondence between his father, Batman, and the Justice League on the nature of the Superboy, and while the adults may very well have given Superboy a pass, he hasn't passed the Damien test. In fact, Damien's issues with Superboy are a nice childlike microcosm of all the problems Superman and Batman have always had with one another. He's too reckless, he can't be trusted, look at all the things he's already done if we don't stop him now. When Superman realizes that his son is missing, you can only imagine he's fire and brimstone about the whole thing. Funny, he jumps the gun and assumes that this is Bruce doing this, not Damien. Granted, everyone calms down once they realize that this was Damien's doing and it was more of a misunderstanding between kids than it was anything else. In fact, this all leads to a really adorable moment wherein everyone sits around and Alfred gives Superboy a root beer. Aww. Once again, you get the really sweet feeling of Batman and Superman Superman bonding like never before over being fathers. While the Dark Knight and the Man of Steel talk shop, Alfred says, Oh, hey, Master Damien, why don't you go show Superboy your animal collection? You have ever so many. And like the petulant brat he sometimes is, Damien is resistant against the whole thing. In fact, he takes this opportunity to kind of insult Superboy to his face over the death of the cat. Oh yeah, Damien knows about the cat. This ends up leading to a huge fight between the two wherein they wreck a good portion of the Bat Cave. Needless to say, Bat Daddy and Super Daddy Daddy are none too happy about this, and both kids are going to be heading to boot camp. I think ever since the premiere of Jonathan Kent, the brand new Superboy, this has been an issue fans have been awaiting for a long time, and I'm glad to say Superman number 10, you know, lives up to the hype. Peter Tomasi clearly has a love and a passion for these two characters, and once again, he's sure to tag a lot of his own work in this book, like Damien coming back to life, like the moon base that Batman had. Heck, I'm surprised I was happy to see nobody. It's interesting how that character managed to gather quite a cult following in the short time she was around, and it's good to know she hasn't been thrown by the wayside. Also, I mean, you gotta love Batman and Superman bonding over fatherhood and how they both have radically different takes on the whole thing. Overall, this was just a really well-constructed, really feel-good kind of issue. Overall, I would give it a 9 out of 10. Solid stuff. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for watching my newest video. I hope you enjoyed it, and while you're here, why not check out another video I have on offer? Or maybe if you're feeling in a supportive mood, you want to like or subscribe. And if you want to support the creation of more videos just like this one, then please, by all means, check out the Cape Joel Patreon. A little bit goes a very long way, and I will see you all next time.